My name is Monika bielka Beskowi. I'm a director at Napa Valley Wine Academy headquarters. I'm also a Rioja wine educator and a student of Institute Masters of Wine, stage two. Wine styles of Rioja are defined by the traditional classification, which includes Generico, Crianza, Reserva, and Gran Reserva. Those are defined by aging. The style of those wines will depend on the length of the aging in both bottle and in the barrel. Those styles will also be color coded. So Generico will be coded in a green color, whereas Crianza is red, Reserva garnet, and Gran Reserva navy blue. Generic. Those are young wines with minimal aging. They're in their first or second year, and they're returning their primary characteristics, fresh and fruity. Those also could be signature wines outside of the traditional classification system. Those are the wines that you often see in Pinchas Bar around the Spain, where they are often enjoyed with light appetizers. Crianzas are wines which are at least in their third year, having spent a minimum of one year in oak barrels for reds. For white wines and rosé, the minimum is six months, with a minimum of 18 months in the cellar. This is the most popular style of Rioja that is most often sold around the world. The style will show a lot more influence of oak than what you mainly find in generic style. And you will see that in both aroma characteristic and structure components. So there will be a little more body, the tannins will be slightly more firm than what you find in many generic wines, but you will also get the influence of oak when you will uh, tend to find more of that vanilla, cedar, or simply the nutmeg notes. Reserva. This is a style with minimal aging between oak and barrels of 36 months, which at least one year has to be in barrels. And it has to be followed and complemented by a minimum six months aging in a bottle. For white wines, the minimum aging period is two years with at least six months in barrels. The aging here will be showing in the flavor profile and in the character of wine. Those tend to be richer, fuller bodies than some of the Crianzas and will have more of that oak influence. And it can be American or French oak, to which American will be driven by coconut and French tends to be driven by vanilla. Grand Reserva, those wines are made for aging. They're made with grapes of top quality from the best parcels, so they can be aged for a longer period of time. What is it exactly? Well, the wines needs to be aged for a minimum of 60 months with at least two years in oak barrels and two years in the bottle. For white wines, the minimum aging period is four years with at least six months in the barrels. They can make rich, full body and concentrated wines, and they are made by the top producers in the region of Rioja. You really want to look out for the Grand Reservas. They are not only a fantastic investment, uh, as they have a great value for the quality, but they are also wines that are gracefully showing their age. You can hold them, but you can also enjoy some of the top wines of the world with a little bit of age to them. The secret is that today's market is actually remarkable for older vintages, and those are still available in Rioja, which is not the case in many other wine regions of the world. So really take a good look at the wine shelves and find some of Rioja Gran Reserva, and you may be surprised with your findings. It's definitely worth reaching out for them today.